Breaking news, Nigerians. Attack on Ganduji caused Kwankwaso, ministerial slot, says APC's spokesman. Hi guys, welcome back to Spice Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The ruling All Progressive Congress APC has stated that the persistent attacks on the uh, on the legacy of the party's national chairman, Dr. Abdullahi Ganduji, in Kano State, may have cost the presidential candidate of the new Nigerian People's Party, Senator Rabiu Kwangwesu, a position in the cabinet of President Bola Tinibu. And prior to the unveiling of Tinibu's ministerial nominees, there were suggestions that Kwangwaso might get a position in Tinibu's government, given the fraternity between the duo after the presidential election. However, Kwangwaso did not make the list of Tinibu's ministerial nominees, while a former governor of River State, Nyesan Wike, of the opposition People's Democratic Party, got the slot. And speaking with Pont respondents, correspondent, the director of publicity of the APC, Mr. Bala Ibrahim, said he believed the attacks on Ganduji's leg uh, legacies in Kano State by Governor Abba Yusuf of the NNPP and Kwankwaso's political godson was why Tinibu decided against giving Kwankwaso a ministerial position. Ibrahim said, Kwankwaso is a force to reckon with in the politics of Kano, but the way and the manner his Kwankwaso Inyas movement goes with about conducting itself has made the support for Kwankwaso to wane uh, gradually. This is because of the, you know, the, the movement that it is bringing into the politics of Kano and the extension, and by extension, Nigeria. The president must have felt the pulse of the public and weighted the relevance and the implementation of his policies, particularly the efforts to win the hearts of Kano people. There is no way you would dismiss the political maturity, the sagacity and the experience of Dr. Uh, Abdullahi Ganduji and when it comes to the way he plays politics in Kano. And if you weight down the two on a good, you know, calibrated scale, the political weight of Ganduji is far more higher than that of Kwankwaso. And I believe the president must have listened to the people who will give him honest and sincere advice. People who read the political temperature of the state very well. And not those who are misguided by the commotion caused by the brangidage of the Kwankwaso's, the Kwankwasiya's movement. It is in that direction I think the president took the decision not to treat Ganduji lightly. But Kwankwaso's camp the, uh, knocked the APC for trying to turn its principal. And then we have the NNPP National Publicity Secretary, Major Agbo, told Punch newspapers that the APC did not deserve a response on this issue. And yes, they've said some of these issues are things that the party is not supposed to be reacting to now. And Kwankwaso has spoken directly on the issue you, talk up, you talked about. He is the one who opts out. So what else do you want? What else does the APC want? And what do they want from the NMPP presidential candidate, Rabiu Kwankwaso? Okay, my country people, uh, there have been a lot of attacks on um, Kwankwaso's personality by the APC over his failure to emerge in um, Tinibu's ministerial nominees list. And we know that uh, the screening, you know, has been concluded, whereby uh, out of the 48, 45 were screened and confirmed, while, you know, a lot of controversies surrounded the remaining three, which uh, at this moment, they are still trying to find their way out of this um, situation. But then we know one of them is out of the picture, Erufai. Erufai is out of the picture. 
We also have Stella Okotete of the other states. We don't know her fate. We have uh, Dalandi, but we don't really know the fate of Dalandi at this moment because they are not saying anything towards Dalandi's confirmation and Stella Okotete. Well, for Erufai, he dropped out. In fact, he opted out. He said he's no longer interested in this ministerial list. I guess he felt too big for the position. And although he gave one or two reasons, him traveling out of the country to do his program, his doctorate program, he wants to, you know, continue his education and other stuff. But then a lot of allegations were flying around on how there have been some cabals who were, you know, trying to frustrate everybody's chances of emerging as a minister in Tinibu's cabinet. But after um, the election, that's the presidential election, we got to see that Rabi Kwan Kwasu and Tinibu were quite close. When um, he was seen visiting the presidential villa on one or two occasions he visited and people were having speculations that I think Rabi Kwan Kwasu is trying to look for an appointment as a means of compensation. I mean, Kwan Kwasu really aided Tinibu to win in the election according to several people who had given the analysis that uh, had it been Kwan Kwasu and uh, Peter Obi formed a merge, had it been they merged together, then Peter Obi would have emerged victorious. But uh, Kwan Kwasu insisted on standing on his own. Although he won Kano, you know, he swept Kano's vote. And then that's when he got the name the King of Kano. People started calling him the President of Kano. Uh, which really aided Tinibu in a way, and it was a loss to Peter Obi and also Atiku Abubakar. Well, Atiku is out of the picture because Atiku and Kwankoso, you know, never really worked together. Although there had been some deliberations, some negotiations between the NMPP and the Labour Party for them to merge, but I think all those processes didn't work out before the elections. So my country people, many have said Tinibu would uh, offer Kwan Kwaso an appointment. Tinibu would give him an appointment. But at last, to, to the shock of many people, uh, Rabi Kwan Kwaso's name never emerged in the ministerial list of President Bola Tinibu. So guys, now the All Progressive Congress spokesman have attacked you know, uh, Kwan Kwaso's personality, saying that uh, the way he attacked Ganduji, that's what cost him, he, you know, a ministerial slot. Had it been he was loyal, had it been he, he was, you know, loyal to Ganduji, then he would have gotten the ministerial slot. So guys, I'm dropping here. What are your thoughts on this? Can you share your thoughts in the comment section? Thank you.